I'm really hoping you guys aren't tired of hearing my voice. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, what's going on? And um, this is the last of the uh, three uh, sketch covers that I have planned for the upcoming Alterna auction. And um, yeah, um, uh, I'm, I'm very happy if, if, if you're the, 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 the few, the few and brave who have uh, hung around just to see uh, and check out some more of these videos that I'm posting up and stuff. I really do appreciate it. And, and I'd like to just thank you again. Um, I can't thank you. Um, geez, I, I can't, you know, because the fact is, is that there's so many different channels on YouTube. And I, you know, even I, you know, I, I try to watch some of them. And then even still, I'm, I'm just swamped with like artwork and stuff like that. So I know that it's not that easy to go out there and uh, and watch them all. So anyway, um, for those that have, that have stuck around, I really do appreciate it. And thank you. And for those who've just just pass the word and say, hey, you, you know, check this guy out. You know, much, much respect. Um, actually, I just noticed that um, I thought I was gonna start doing some inking, but instead I, I can't because I have to do um, some ketchup work on pencil right here. And in this box right here, I actually have, um, it's, it's, a, it's an amalgam of Peter and Rob Geronimo. And I don't know how I missed that, but see that happens, you know, your brain's going all over the place. And let's see if I can find something. I gotta look on now. Hope you guys don't mind just waiting a little bit. Oh man. I gotta admit, um, I'm very happy how that, um, my other, just on another note, I'm happy that the sketch card that I did for, uh, uh, for Kenneth uh, Roka for it, um, was well received you know he really dug it and stuff and that that really made me very happy so uh yeah kudos to that man you know like i said i you know i tried to express even in my video was just that uh he when i saw what he did it's just that you know it, it really got me pumped and, and that's how it should be i mean really when uh when we artists are out there drawing and stuff like that i look at other people's artwork and i just i just get um amazed you know all right, so I'm going to do, and I can't believe, I, I thought I had a picture of Rob, but I'm just gonna start, I'll start off with Pete. Pete, mother, I know Pete's getting tired of people freaking drawing him, man. He's, he's a humble dude, man. I would, I'd be the same way if people were like freaking drawing me all the time. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, come on, man. He's a, he's a humble guy. But let's see, let's see if this is the last one, unless somebody requests it. See. All right, so I got a picture of Pete right here. So I'm doing a pencil. I mean, hopefully you guys can see it. I'm trying to angle the camera just right. Starting to use that new, that uh, what is it, 60? I don't know what it's called, but HD on my uh, iPhone and stuff, which I I just learned about. For all this time, I've been sort of filming stuff and just sort of going with the flow. So. But anyway, yeah. So I'm excited to uh, excited to see how uh, how this new auction is gonna be. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh, let's see. Pete has a little bit of the. Get the little the little beard going and I'll throw a little bit. Well, I'm looking at some older pictures of them and stuff, so I'm just gonna kinda go off those old pictures. Alright. Yeah, you know, I can't believe I've totally forgot about that. Just noticed it too. But I really wanted to get these um these pieces done. And that's the thing, it's like you 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 kinda gotta, you know, set a uh so I'm gonna do a little amalgam of him. I'm doing with his long hair. Keep with the long, the long black hair going out there. Just a little bit, so. Oh, let me see. And I'll just, I guess I'll just create a uh, alternate beanie for him. Yeah. My man, he's he's got he's gotta rest himself though, man. That's the key thing. Like I said before, and I'm not gonna go on a huge rant or anything, but 
I think it's really important that um, um, we who are creators, we, we got to start listening to our bodies and, and resting ourselves, man. You know, you, you got to do it. Just because, just because you're taking some time off for yourself, don't you know? Just for your mental state and everything like that, you know, you, you have to take care of yourself. That's an old picture of Rob. Wow, a blood room. All right, let's see, blood room. I got, I got to admit, Rob's got a, an amazing last name, Geronimo. And are there any pictures of Rob? God, I had a good picture, and I think, oh, there we go. This is perfect. Yeah, this one's a good one. He's got his glasses on too, so. And he's wearing glasses also, so this kind of this kind of meshes up. Well, I thought I was gonna immediately go right into inking, but that's cool. That's okay. All right. He's, he's definitely created a really um, amazing universe here, and, and I, I really hope that um, that uh, Blood Realm and, and 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 other titles from Alternic can, can see some different light in other medium medias. You know, this is this is this is a, a golden time. Um, because a lot of these streaming services and, and stuff are, are really looking for new content, and so you know, I just, I just hope, you know, you want it, you want it to kind of, you want it to kind of work, work out for everyone, you know. You know, I know for me and uh, Matthew, getting, um, uh, that's not the key thing that drives us with. Um, Tajis and cow Cowboys, of course, you know, he's really about getting the story out and stuff like that, you know. For me, the big, big thing is gonna be just volumes. I'm more fat, I'm, I'm more about just getting the story, you know, like how it must feel like if you get 50 issues, man. That, I, I mean, wow, what a feeling that must be, be like when Tom McFarlane reached like, you know, spawn 50. I, I think that Rob's got a little bit of facial hair on the side and stuff, so. There you go. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll give him the uh, his headphones and stuff. Hook him up on the side and make that special. So all we can do is just see, you know, I'm hoping that it's a really good option. I hope that, you know, people are there to, you know, find some art, you know. I, I am happy to see, I, I'm on, you know, on some of the Facebook stuff and I see like um, people getting commissions from some of the big guys and stuff like that. So definitely it's a, it's a huge market. Um, many times I, I see artwork that I go, wow, man, I, I can't believe people spent the money to get. But again, it's that whole thing with, um, you know, fans and, 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 you know, how you're feeling toward a particular creator and whatever, and what drives you in, in getting something, you know, and how much are you willing to, you know, put down to get that. So, all right. So there you go. Got that nice little pencil in. So, all right, this is cool. So I got Rob, I got Rob penciled in. I think he looks good. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get to some inking. All right, before I forget, um, this is another mashup video. Um, mashup meaning, as I'm doing right now, I'm doing a little talking and stuff like that, um, you know, just to walk you through the process of what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna switch over to hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is when it starts speeding up and then I, I add some of the wonderful YouTube um, music that they have that's available. And um, and I find it to be a nice little mix up where, you know, you got my voice, you see me draw a little bit and then, or, or inking, and then it goes to the fast, the fast up stage, you know, whether coloring or whatever. So with that said, uh, I'm continuing what I started with um, the whole this whole series of um, sketch covers where I, I went inside of um, Blood Realm and, and and technically I'm treating it as a like a movie script in a sense of like a keyframe and I just picked out certain parts that I thought would be very dramatic to sort of pull out and this was the scene where at the end and again <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember this guy's name but there's a scene where he's standing there and you got all the satrians, satrians and they're all looking at him as he's he because the their original ruler is has been killed and so now he's just standing there and you know he i guess he's gonna come their ruler but with that said 
I wanted to add a little twist. And the reason why I added Peter in there is because King Cryptic is turning out to be a really hot commodity right now. And I like the character uh, and I'm very, I, I cannot wait to get the chance to work on the character and do, and do my own side on it. I'm really hoping that Pete's gonna go full on like Frank, I want, you know, I don't know, the giant cryptid, giant monster, really all out battle kind of stuff. Cause I wanna have a field day with it when I start working on it. Um, but with that said, um, I decided to put Cream Cryptid in it. And I've actually tweaked up a little bit because there's some other artists that have been really fantastic in showing some of the, and plus Pete, and showing some of the artwork. And it's given me a better idea of how the character um, looks. So then in some degree, it's helping me um, refine how my first drawing, my initial drawings, because originally, initially, some of the early stuff, I, he had fingers. I gave him like four fingers, but I guess he has still only two, two fingers and a thumb. So with that said, let me stop yapping. Um, I'm probably gonna stop, I'll stop yapping at um, the 15 minute mark. So give it some time so I can do some, do some inking here. Now, one of the things I, I like I said before previously, oh, this is a two, so I'm using a 003. Uh, no, that's a little too thin right now. It's gonna be working with. Uh, one of the things I love about Rob Geronimo's um, artwork is this, he definitely leaves a lot of, uh, a lot of room. For, for various artists to kind of come in and, and, and add their own interpretation to um, the characters that, he, that he's created, you know, and that and that's always kind of fun, you know, and interesting, you know, like still staying in the realm of what he's concepted, but now I can sort of add my little whatever to it. Oh, oh, anyway, I, oh God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, pretty much the idea with this this particular one is that um, yeah after that scene where he's they're calling him king or whatever or he's accepting fact he's king then all of a sudden the portal opens up and you boom you got King Cryptid who kind of appears and he mutters that I'm a king too just as a little fun thing I've been doing this whole portal thing which is really weird um, but I've, I found it as a nice um, sort of tool just to sort of allow me to bring other characters to the other universe. I use it a lot with um, Bewin, who is the character, the um, hero character in me and, Jim, and, me and uh, Matt Blair's uh, Kajus and Cowboys. It's a great tool to sort of, you know, because again, you just say, oh, well, a uh, portal. Somehow he's some portal and he's in the uh, Blood Realm universe briefly or whatever. And is it a magical portal? We don't know. That's, that's the mystery, which is kind of fun, so. Yeah, this is an interesting character. He has an almost Gollum kind of feel to him when I saw the character. Definitely the, the poor character got beaten up so bad, just similar to Gollum, if you think about it. He just really got manhandled or sat satirine, satirine? Oh, gotta talk to Rob about how to pronounce the pronunci pronunciations. I always find that's one of the things that's um, it's always that 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 uh, challenge when you're coming up with really uh, unique names for stuff and and the pronunciation of it. You know, everyone has different views. Like I mean, there's still that debate on. You know, I've heard people say I say Magneto. Somebody says Magneto. <laughs> you know. I don't think I don't think either one is right or either one is wrong in my opinion. I think they both fit the whatever, you know. It's like it's an, it's an imaginary character, so so what, you know. That's that end result is like oh, it's, it's not real anyway. So potato, potato. All right, let's see where we're at. Oh, we're at fourteen already. Fourteen minutes. Jeez. All right. Well, oh, I'm sorry I took up so much time. I had to do that that uh, quick. Pencil, but I'm gonna keep my word and I'm gonna start um, going into the transition of hyper hyperlapse. So with that said, um, I just wanna thank everyone again for just, you know, you just hanging out and checking out my channel and checking out the other videos. Man, I got a lot of them. So please don't hurt yourself and try to, you know, try to watch them all in one day. Ugh, mentally, I, I couldn't even, the visualization on that is just insane. But um, hey, you know, as always, feel free to comment. Um, I love to hear from you. And um, with that said, let's keep that art flowing.